Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Emu and today we're gonna learn how to knit this bubble stitch which is not reversible, it doesn't look the same on the wrong side it looks good but not the same and it's knitted in multiple of 8 stitches plus 4 plus 2 border stitches and in 6 rotative rows so let's get started Well, in this case I have casted on 30 stitches, which is 3 by 8, 24, plus 4, 28, and 2 border stitches, 30 stitches. And we're gonna start with the first 2 rows, with the sequence of the 2 first rows, which we are going to repeat 3 times. So, I'm gonna need the very first stitch, but you have to know that the very first stitch is a border stitch and we don't work it anymore. And then we're gonna continue with the sequence of the first row, which is purl 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then knit 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That sequence we're gonna repeat for all the way of the row. So we're gonna repeat again. Pour four, one, two, three, and four. And then knit four. One, two, three, four. Well, if everything is going okay, we should over with the same four stitches we have started the row. The same four per stitches. That's why we have four extra stitches to make it symmetrical. And then we're gonna over with the last stitch, which is border stitch per one. Then we're gonna continue with the second row on, on the wrong side of the labor, we're gonna slip the very first stitch, border stitch, and we have to start with the sequence of knit one, purl two, and knit one. This sequence of these four stitches is the separation between all the bubbles, and the bubbles are purl for one, two, 3, 4, which are the, the 4 knit stitches on the right side. So again, we're gonna continue with the separation of the bubbles, which is again, knit 1, pour 2, and knit 1. Again, the next bubble, pour 4, 1, 2, three and four. Again the separation between the bubbles knit one, pour two and knit one. This sequence we're gonna repeat for all the way of the second row, the wrong side of the labor. Well the same as the right side we start with the same sequence as we over the row. So we're gonna over with the same sequence of knit one, pour two, knit one, and the border stitch per one. Well, these are the two rows we are going to repeat three times until we have six rows of the same sequence. So we're gonna start again with the same sequence of the right side, which was per four, one, two, three, Four, and then knit four. One, two, three, four. So this sequence we're gonna repeat until the row number six. So let's continue with it. Well, this is how it looks like after the six rows. And what you have to do now is continue with the same six rows of the same order, but changing the sequence, which means, let's get started. First, stitch, border stitch, slip stitch, and then instead of pour four, we're gonna start with knit four, one, two, three, four, and then pour four, one, 
two, three, four. Again, knit four, one, two, three, four, and then pull for one, two, three, four. So the order is the same, but we have changed the sequence. So let's continue with it until the end of the row. If we start with per four, we over with per four, and if we start with knit four, we over with knit four. So we're gonna over with this is the second sequence. So we have knit four to over the row and per one border stitch. Then we're gonna turn the labor and continue with the sequence of the wrong side where we start with border stitch slip stitch and then we have the first four stitches are purl four which are the bubbles and then we have the di different the distance between all the bubble switches knit one pour two and knit one again the distance between all the bubbles again the next bubble one two three four per four and again the dif the distance between the bubbles knit one and per two and knit one so this sequence we're gonna continue for all the way of the of the row so this is the sequence of the wrong side and these are the two rows again we are going to repeat for three times until we have again another six rows so the sequence of the first six rows and the sequence of the second six rows we are going to turn all the way of the labor until we have the length we need so what i'm going to do is repeat few more times the first and the second sequence to to show you how it looks like and let's continue with it well this is how it looks like the bubble stitch and the bubble stitch is not reversible it does not look the same on the wrong side it looks good but not the same and i hope you really like it if you have any question don't hesitate to do it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and follow me in my instagram and facebook bye bye